Good morning, everyone. Uh, Jerry Udelson is my name. I'm the instructor for today. I've written eight books on green buildings and green development. I'm a professional engineer. I've trained uh, over 3,000 people in the LEED system. I've actually passed the LEED EB exam. So if you're an instructor for U.S. Green Building Council, you have to take every new exam that comes out. So far, I'm four for four. I feel like I'm having a good day at Dodger Stadium. We're going to talk about Lead for Existing Building 2008 Operations and Maintenance. We're going to spend most of the first four or five hours on what we'll call a technical review, which is actually to go through the lead system credit by credit, tell you what's in there. We will do some breakouts where we'll ask you to kind of talk to your neighbors, turn around, talk to the person behind you in groups of four or five, and see how you can put these into practice immediately. I will also give you exam tips throughout the day. That's also designed so that um, you don't go to sleep. Every time you hear a, oh, and this might be on the exam, I expect to see a lot of heads come up. Now the question is, why is this big shift to green? If you were to go back to the beginning of 2006, would we have been having this meeting then? Probably not. Green is becoming a brand that has value, and we're beginning to see the first results on commercial office buildings showing higher rents, higher, greater occupancy, higher resale value for Energy Star buildings and LEED certified buildings. 